Good morning. Let's read from Exodus chapter 35, the next bit. And just one verse really struck my mind. It's verse 9 in Exodus 35. All the men and women, the people of Israel, whose heart moved them to bring anything for the work the Lord had commanded by Moses to be done, brought it as a free will offering to the Lord. Wow. Let's pray. Do you want to pray, Val? Yes. Lord, we just thank you. Thank you that one of the wonderful things you teach us is how to give. Hmm. And so we pray that we might hear what you're saying to us today hmm. through this text and through your Holy Spirit. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. In fact, that verse comes twice. It's like bookends of the whole passage. Look at that. It starts with everyone whose heart stirred him. And it finishes whose heart moved them to bring anything for the work. So it's a heart, heart at the beginning, heart at the end, heart passage. And that's really, that's the only way you can give, isn't it? From the heart. Yeah, yes. Yes, because... I mean, sometimes you try and do these things because you know they're in the word and you want to yeah. be obedient. Yeah. But it, it kind of falls flat. Hmm. But at, at least it, it's OK. It's like a toddler of trying course. to build a building or yes, yeah. build some Lego. They're not sure. very successful the first few times. Yeah, yeah. They need, they need putting in place, don't they? Like stabilizers on a bike. Mm. It puts you in place. You've still got to do it. Yeah, so but, I think it's yeah. OK if, if sure. we've kind of tried and got it wrong. Yes. And you just cry out to the Lord to change your heart attitude, don't you? Yes. I'll tell you something that's interesting here is the significant mention of women um, being part of this, responding to the plea with gifts and resources and talents in verse 22 and 25 and 29. So it's like it's, it's, it's everybody. It's very interesting how you've got women right at the beginning of Exodus with the midwives and then with Moses's mother and sister and then the Egyptian princess and then Zipporah his wife and then Miriam his sister singing at the on the banks of the Red Sea so it's like at every key moment the, the, the writer's very sure to say that women are part of this you know this is the whole people of God it's not just a patriarchal society yes yeah. yes lovely but it's whoever it is, it's the heart that has been stirred that that knows no boundaries, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, maybe we're like, well, obviously we are like children. We're called God's children, aren't we? And we're just learning and being transformed day by day, week by week. And learning to be willing. Yes, because yes. when you think about it, God often does use carrots doesn't he uh -huh. like even the verse in the new testament luke six thirty eight, give and it will be given to you mm. we have such a fear of when we give of not having enough sure that sure. It stops us giving and that's not the principle that mm. god works on it's the other way around yes empty yourself and he can fill you yes that's and right and the verse goes on give and it will be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken mm. together and running over. Mm. Lovely. So, so no lack when we give. Mm. What was that thing you used to say about cornflakes? Oh, yes. I remember hearing something many years ago now, a story about cornflakes. If, if you think about it, when you open a new packet of cornflakes yeah. and you give the box a tap and you look in it, it's only half full. Right, right, right. And it was the idea of that's not how God gives to us. Yes. It's pressed down, shaken together and running over. Amen. Yeah. Not like Good. cornflakes. So we're bid to pray, give us this day our daily bread. And that sounds like a request, but really it's just trust, isn't it? But it's based upon God's giving. Because God gives, because God is faithful in giving, I can warmly, calmly, generously give back. Yes, it's it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because with our own children, we want them to grow up and be givers, and yes, we want them to know how to earn a living and 
and be responsible. So it's this kind of attitude of being a responsible giver. Yes. I think you have to, you know, like you were saying about you have to be trained. You have to almost set things like something like the tithe. You have to sort of set it there as a sort of a model. Mm. And this is this is the way I'm going to live. You have to set your brain into gear yes. to give. But it's still hard, isn't it? It's still something that you, your flesh resists against. Yes. If, if you're too relaxed about these things, it just doesn't happen. Yes, sure. And when I, when I was thinking about it, I was thinking about the way we set out our houses. Well, you make sure you've got a kitchen and bathroom and then you make a dining room maybe and a lounge and a bedroom. Yeah. You make these rooms because that's what you're going to see happen. And we have to do that in everything in our lives. Yes. We have to make a place where mm. that will be done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We wouldn't think of missing a meal. Sure. Don't think of missing a chance to give and, wow. and make it a part of your order. I can see this is something I'm going to have to learn from you. <laughs> this, <laughs> Because I think that it's part of our culture to be mean, really. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> no, well, I think we're our default position, uh, you know, before we, uh, I think it, the stirred heart, the heart that is touched by grace, learns to be generous. You know, if you've been forgiven much, you love much yes. and and you love by giving you yes. know if it's not money it's it's yourself it's your it's your resources your talents it's yes. it's your obedience your your obedience you know if you if you love you give so so if we don't have that love then right. that's what i was saying but but you're right you're right <laughs> well when you see people in dire need it breaks your heart and you sure. want to contribute don't you Lord, we pray you give us generous hearts. <laughs> we pray, Lord, we pray that we don't accept a default position of meanness and mean spiritedness, but that we accept the default position of your grace towards us. You yes. have set us free. So make us a people who are free to give, free to love, free to mm. laugh and enjoy one another. In yes. Jesus' name we pray. Yes. We trust you, Lord. We do. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless.